I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on rational functions. We will discuss transformation with the help of an example here. Let me also thank all our viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. This question comes from my student Avni. Avni, thanks a lot for sending me this question and I hope solution of this will help many others. The question here is, describe the transformation on the graph of y equals to 1 over x needed to obtain the graph of each of the following y equals to x plus 5 over x plus 1 and b y equals to 2x divided by x minus 1. Well, some of you can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now to describe the transformation when the parent function is 1 over x, we should get this in the form of 1 over x, then be simpler. Now one way is long division. which could be performed to write this rational function split into two parts and then describe the transformation. Now some of my students are not very familiar with long division and so I am adopting a different method. So let us see how to do it and this is effectively a better method also. So we have y equals to x plus 5 over x plus 1. The idea is to split it so that we could have x plus 1 as a factor in numerator also. So x plus 5 could be written as x plus 1 plus 4 for example, right? That is x plus 5. And when you divide by x plus 1, you could also write this as x plus 1 over x plus 1 plus 4 over x plus 1. Do you see that? And this gives you 1 plus 4 over x plus 1. Isn't that neat? That is how you should be doing it. Now it is very simple to describe the transformations. So what we have here is vertical stretch by 4, right? So we could write vertical stretch by factor of 4. We are comparing with 1 over x, correct? So vertically stretched by a factor of 4 and then we have a translation. So one unit left, so one unit left, this is because of the denominator part and one unit up. So that is how you could actually describe the transformation. I hope you understand and appreciate these steps. Correct? Now, the challenge for you is to split the second rational function in this way and write down the transformation. So you can actually pause the video now, answer and then look into my suggestions. What should we do here? Well, if you have something like that, we want x minus 1, so let's write x minus 1. Writing this means we have made the numerator as 2x minus 2. Well, we have minus 2 extra. So let's add 2 to the numerator. Now it is as good as 2x, correct? Does it make sense? So that means I could write this as 2 times x minus 1 over x minus 1 plus 2 over x minus 1. And that is... Sorry, this is x minus 1. Okay, so x minus 1, x minus 1 cancel. Okay, so we get 2 here plus 2 over x minus 1. Does it make sense to you, right? So this is x minus 1. So they cancel. Do you see that part? So we get 2 plus 2 over x minus 1. And now you can easily write down the transformation. Perfect. Isn't that simple? So this time... We have vertical stretch by factor of 2 and translation 1 unit right and 2 units 
of. So that is the translation, right? Does it make sense to you? So that is how you should work with rational functions. Split them into two parts. And then it is very simple to describe transformation with respect to the parent function 1 over x. I hope you understand it and appreciate it. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.